40 million people in the U.S. suffer from uh, some type of an anxiety disorder, uh, which means like one out of one out of ten, one out of every ten Americans suffers from some type of anxiety disorder. Now we have to understand that uh, when we say anxiety, it's not a monolithic uh, concept. There are many different types of anxiety disorders. Uh, there's, for example, separation anxiety that children experience before they go to school. Uh, separation anxiety from their parents, from their mother. Uh, also, uh, selective mutism, for example, a child who doesn't begin to, to speak outside the home uh, is a form of anxiety. There's obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD, which is a form of anxiety. There are, uh, there's PTSD, uh, or post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a form of anxiety. And again, some people are genetically more susceptible or vulnerable to that than others. Uh, there are, uh, are panic disorders, which is a form of anxiety. And then there's also uh, social phobia, simple phobia, uh, and various types of uh, underlying anxiety problems. And then there's anxiety that accompanies depression and mood disorders and situations. Uh, for example, uh, loss of a, a loved one or losing a boyfriend, girlfriend. All of these result in a certain amount of anxiety, but these are time limited. But the, uh, there are long-term anxiety problems which do not go away. And whereas mood disorders are episodic, they only last for a brief period of time or a short period of time if they're treated properly and may not occur for another uh, several years, uh, anxiety disorders are continuous. And they do not get better or do not go away until, uh, for women, until the, the postmenopausal year and for men in the 40s and 50s. So uh, from uh, most of our adult life, we suffer from anxiety if, we're, if we have a propensity toward anxiety disorders.